Assalamu alaikum guys. Hope everybody will be fine. Guys, today in this short video lecture, I will guide you why we are providing development length in BIM. What are the reasons for providing development length? So therefore, watch this video till the end to know something new related development length. Let's get started. If this video is helpful for you, so you may like this video. Guys, the first reason is for providing development length in BIM. Uh, that is, first of all, if you don't know what is development length, so let me draw its diagram for development length. Guys, you can see, suppose this is a beam. This is beam, okay? And here, this is column. Okay, horizontal is beam, vertical is column. So inside beam, we are using steel reinforcement. Guys, you can see here. Okay. Compression and also tension. So now guys, this steel reinforcement, when we join the steel reinforcement in column, so we are providing the extra length or extra bar. Okay. Additional bar, we are providing same like this and it's going downward like this and the tension bar is going through upward side. So this extra or additional bar is called development length. Okay. So this is called development length LD by small you can denote it this. Okay. So this is called development length this length. Okay. So what are the reason for providing development length? Why we are providing? Okay. So the first reason is guys develop a secure bond between the surface of the bar and the concrete so therefore we are providing development length to make a good bond between steel and concrete so therefore we are providing extra bar so from here we are going to the section or the junction and then going to the downward side and the tension bar is going to the upward side so this length we can get for uh, we can get from uh, different structures. Okay, for a different structure, uh, we are taking different length, development length. So it especially depend on the uh, grade of steel rod. Okay, steel uh, steel reinforcement for different grade. Now here, so that so develop a secure bond between steel and concrete. Okay, so that any failure, that any fear, uh, failure due to slippage. So here it slips. So actually the steel is slipped from the concrete our concrete can be slipped from the steel so in any failure due to slippage of the bar does not occur during the final load condition so therefore if we don't provide development length so the concrete will be slipped or the steel will be slipped from the uh, in the junction especially from concrete or concrete from uh, steel okay so therefore in any failure okay so it can support the structure load or if you apply the final load so in final load condition it doesn't occur okay or it doesn't slip okay so this is the main reason second additional length of the bar provided this additional length of bar or development length is provided is the length of growth okay is the length of the growth is attributed to the stresses attributed to the stresses developed in any section of the adjacent section this is very important guys in this place okay actually we providing the development length at the end of the support because at the end we have maximum shear stresses okay so let me easy for you this okay so actually it transfer the stress or load from the beam to column smoothly so therefore we are providing development length because this is the beam when the load comes on the beam so beam transfer the load to the column smoothly so here we have maximum shear stresses so due to shear stresses okay it make uh, it can be slip so therefore to uh, to prevent this uh, slipping of concrete from the steel we providing development length okay so here guys so this is also uh, very important which I am telling you here such as the additional length mean this development length of the bar provided 
from the beam to the column so from the beam to the column this additional length so look at here this is the beam so from the beam to the column okay at the column beam junction okay so here we are providing specially in the junction also because we have maximum shear stresses there so to provide the development length because it makes a good bond between steel and concrete so the concrete can't be slip or make slippage in any failure if we provide if we don't provide so the concrete can be slipped from there so you will face more problems okay so therefore it can also provide the cracks okay and how we can get this length or what is the formula for development length so actually uh, i will tell you commonly if you don't know about the steel structure design or if you are not related with this subject so the development length should not be less than one feet okay mean 12 inches or 30 centimeter okay but for different uh, structure load we have different development length and also different uh, development length is also depend on the different grade of steel rods hope this video can help you so if you have any question about this video so you can comment i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye